working out how you work out a, a certain fraction of a particular quantity. So for example, in this example, uh, I've got one fifth of 20 pounds to work out. Very simple example, and I know most of you used to be able to tell me the answer straight away for that, for that question. But you need to set routine, because things might get a little bit harder in, in future questions. So what's the routine that you go through? Well, if you're working out one-fifth of something, you're just taking a quantity, let's say you've got a block of wood, if you're one-fifth of it, you just chop it into five equal portions. So you take the one block of wood, and you share it into five equal portions. And that's what you see in the fraction. You get one block of wood and you share it into five equal portions. Okay, so if I had 20 pounds, imagine I take 20 pounds, put it in a long line like so. All I've got to do is share it into five equal portions and I will have a fifth of 20 pounds in each of those portions. So all you've got to do is you take the 20, in this case, and you've just got to share it into five equal portions. And that will give you what one-fifth of 20 pounds is. Okay, and of course that is the answer, four pounds. So likewise if you have something like one-seventh of 49 kilograms, you imagine that you set out the 49 kilograms in a long line, and for one-seventh of it you just chop it or share it into seven equal portions. So you take the 49 and you set share by 7. And of course the answer is 7 kilograms. In each portion you'd have 7 kilograms. And it's as simple as that. And that's very straightforward. However, some people get a bit confused when they come onto ones such as this. Let's say you have two thirds of something. Let's say you have two thirds of 18 centimetres. Okay, two thirds of 18 centimetres. Well, if you have two thirds of something, what you do is this. Let me just give you a little um, demonstration with a picture at the side. Let's say I have 18 dots. That's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to carry on over here. 15, 16, 17, and 18. There you go. Let's say I've got 18 dots. If I want two thirds of that, what I do first is I first of all share it into thirds. I chop it into thirds, which is three equal portions. If you think about it, if I have 18 whatever, doesn't matter what they are, they can be pennies, they can be pound coins, they can be buttons, they can be centimetres, they can be whatever, doesn't matter. If I have 18 of them and I chop them into three equal portions, one, two, three, four, five, there's one portion, there's another portion, and there's a third equal portion. Each one of these is one third, one portion out of three, of what we started with. Each portion is one third. Okay, so, so to get one third, I take the 18, and I share it into three equal portions. One, two, three equal portions. Okay? And, I, and obviously, if I was just working out what one third of something was, then um, one third of 18, then there'd, there'd be an answer of six. In each of these portions, there are six buttons, six pound coins, whatever they may be, or in this case, six centimetres. So one third, one third, one third. But I don't want one third of something, I want two thirds. Well, two thirds is that and that. It's that and that added together. So if you like, it's six plus six, which is 12. But mathematically, Adding up 6 plus 6 isn't always the best way to do this. In certain questions, if you do it by addition, 6 add another 6, it will take a long time. It's far easier to say, if you've got one third, there it is. If you want two thirds, you just double it. That's the quickest way, using multiplication. Just double it instead of saying 6 add another 6. So what I'm going to do to get two thirds is double it. One third, there it is. Two thirds, you double it. So there you go, there's the sum that you've got to do. And as you can see from the fraction there, you just take the 18, you share by the bottom number, and you times by the top number. And it's as simple as that. That's the process you just have to go through. So 18 share by 3 gives you the 6, that's what each third is, and then you times it by 2, and you will get 12. So in two thirds, there's one third, there's another third, there's two thirds. In those two thirds, you'll have 12 whatever they may be. Pound coins, buttons, 
or in this case centimeters and it's as simple as that so if I just do some now very quickly let's say I had three quarters of uh, 20 uh, boys let's say three quarters of 20 boys have got blonde hair okay I want to know how many boys have got blonde hair all you do is you take the 20 boys you share it into four or you share them into four that will give you quarters so 20 share by 4 will give you a quarter of the boys, that's 5, 5 boys, and then you times it by 3 to get 3 quarters. So 20 share by 4 is 5, 5 times 3, you get an answer of 15 boys. That's what 3 quarters of 20 boys is. Okay, 15 boys. And, and that's it, I'll just do a couple more very quick ones with slightly harder numbers, just so you can practice this. Okay, so number four. So number four, if you have, for example, seven eighths of um, four hundred and eighty uh, people. Let's say there are four hundred and eighty people in a crowd. Perhaps seven eighths of them are wearing a coat. I want to know how many people are wearing a coat. So what you do is you take the 480 people, you share into 8 portions, that will give you what 1 eighth of them is, and if you've got 7 eighths, you simply times by 7 to get 7 eighths. Okay, here we go then, 480 share by 8, well, 48 share by 8, you should know your 8 times table, goes 6 times, 48 share by 8 is 6, so at the naught you get 60. If you want to do it in stages then, 60. 480 share by 8 is 60. And then you've got to times by 7 afterwards. So I'm doing this one because it's harder in stages. Okay, 60 times 7. Well, I'll just do 6 times 7 is 42. And then add a 0. You get 420. So people, so people. Okay, so 7 eighths of 480 people is 420 people. And that's it. Okay, one more. Number 5. What about 13 twentieths of 200 pounds? So you've got to work that out. Okay, so all you do is you work the following through. You take the 200 pounds, if you want 13 twentieths, you first work out what 1 twentieth is. So you share by 20. And if you want 13 twentieths, you then times that by 13. Okay. 200 share by 20, nice and easy, goes 10 times. 10 twenties are 200. So that's uh, 10, and then you times by 13. So 10 thirteens gives you 130 pounds. So 13 twentieths of 200 pounds is 130 pounds. And, and that process is very, very straightforward. You may need it for paper one, you may need it for paper two, so you need to be able to do it with and without a calculator. Okay, that's the end of this video.